This is not going to be something people are going to like me for. What's up everyone, welcome. My name is MT and today we're going to talk about the worst ship in Elite Dangerous. And there are quite some ships on my list, but this is not a top 5 worst ships. This is basically the worst ship that I can imagine. And before I start out, I want to uh, wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And may all your dreams come true and have a wonderful time. Alright, now we're going to talk about the worst ship in Elite Dangerous. And I personally think that there are many that are very bad. For example, the Imperial Clipper is in fact a really good ship, <laughs> according to my opinion. And that's where it all starts. It's all opinion based. Uh, I personally think that this is a very amazing ship, very good ship. The hardpoint placement is terrible. Uh, jump range is not that good either. But it's not only about uh, statistics, it's also about how it looks, how it flies, and how it generally feels. And I think that this is a very good ship, um, but it's also my personal preference. Now, there are many ships that I don't like, many ships that I don't encourage people to get. And that's what I will talk about today, but I will also, also ultimately talk about the worst ship in the game and it's possibly going to be something that you guys don't agree with but maybe you will we'll see so we're gonna start off with the hauler now the hauler is a um, for most people the worst ship in the game now I could see that because it only has one hard point it's uh, pretty slow I mean it has a really good jump range but that's basically it but I would not say there's a worship in the game because because of its low uh, cost price because of the high jump range you can easily use this as a taxi for uh, multiple stations for example if your ship is somewhere else you can bring it with you now there are more ships like the Viper Mark IV and the Cobra Mark IV. Now these two ships are one of the worst ships in the game. Not because they're just bad ships in statistics, because they're actually quite good. But because they're just a copy-paste of the ships before. And I personally don't think that is a... Um, I, don't, I don't think that's a good thing. I, I do like that the um, devs put in more ships in the game. But it's not... But I just don't really like this weird copy paste just like the Osp scout you know it's it's basically an Osp explorer only then less good and these are basically viper and the cobra only then better but that's also debatable because the cobra isn't really that much better and the param parameters are just you know all over the place so it doesn't really add anything supernatural so in that case I don't really really enjoy it but uh, that's personal preference at all. Now now we have the Type 6 Transporter. Now this ship is actually quite good because I used it a lot when I was um, when I was a beginner player. It's a, it's a ship that is not the worst ship in the game. It's not a good ship by all means, but it's not a horrible ship either because you can use it really good as a um, ship to go into trading. But now, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the Keelback and why I think that this is, in fact, the worst ship in the game. Now, for a lot of people, this might be a surprise. For some other people, this might be a given. But I personally think this is a, the worst ship in the game. Not because the parameters are the worst. Not because um, it, it's just all it's all combined. Also, personal preference. Now, if you look at this ship, it's just a Type 6 with extra boosters and some more armor and some extra engines parts I guess I don't like the look of the ship that's my per that's number one I don't like the look of the ship number two is the parameters the the statistics are horrible right alright so first of all it is a ship that comes at a price of around two million or three million credits um, it has the same firepower as a Viper mark 3 right it is basically the same thing only then slower bigger um, less shielding less armor than a viper guys than a viper viper costs a couple hundred 
couple thousand. This thing costs a couple of million. It has more cargo, but that's all. The only thing that it has in its favor is its fighter hangar. But also that is not even that special. I mean, it's. I could imagine that it's a good vehicle for, um, for if you want, you know, lore-wise, if you want a lot of fighters with you, you can bring a lot of these killbacks because they're lore-wise, you know, in brackets, they're cheap, right? Um, I think that it's for, if you're a general and elite dangerous, it's better to bring a lot of killbacks with fighters than a lot of anacondas with fighters if you just want the pure amount of vehicles with you. But that's literally the only reason I can think of. Now, furthermore, it has a top speed of 300 MS, low shields, low armor, uh, weak hardpoints, as we spoken of briefly and the worst part is is that well actually it's also a little bit of a positive part you can completely um, upgrade it for six million or about 10 million completely finished except for the engineering of course but it's I'll upgrade it completely as, as, far, as far as you can get it and that is positive because for a low budget bounty hunters it's it's a good thing but this ship it means that this ship cannot be good <laughs> in the sense that for example you can you can completely upgrade a Cobra and it will be about the same price or a little bit cheaper and you would have something that could like actually destroy completely upgraded OSPs and stuff like that this ship has so little maneuverability that it's not it's never gonna be able to do that uh, you can you you're off better just to buy a OSP scout for about the same price completely upgrade that it's a little bit more expensive but you'll be off way better than to buy something as ridiculous as the killback now don't get me wrong i do like that the um, creators of elite dangerous put time and effort into making a new ship with new looks even though it's a it's a little bit of a copy paste it's still a little bit of a new look um, and here we can see the hard points, by the way, as you can see, it has too small and too medium. But of, obviously that is a good thing, right? But at the same time, um, it's, I mean, they could have buffed it a little bit, you know, make it a little bit more expensive, you know, put a large on there, you know, take away the hangar bay, because I, honestly, I don't really think the hangar bay is something that spectacular. I mean, it's, it's unique for a ship this small to have a hangar bay but it is not something that I would go for you know if, if you have the money if you don't have the money for a ship with a hangar bay this is a really good point of view if, if you tell me if I ask you why, why the hell would you buy a killback and you're like look I don't, I don't have enough money I, I just want a ship with a hangar bay alright you know I mean honestly I don't judge to begin with but honestly that that's a valid reason I'd say but if you have enough money for something like uh, like an anaconda, right? If, if you have a lot of money, why the hell would anyone buy the kill back? I honestly do not know. But it does make it so that it's good that ships like this exist. Because at the same time, the devs create um, a very important thing that I like. And that is the variety of ships you have multiple ships different ships that all serve a, a role and the ship really does serve in its own role uh, might not be that it's really good at it but it does serve as a very multi-purpose ship you know you can use it as a little carrier you know you, you can use it as even as a cargo ship I, th I assume honestly I haven't checked it out but I do assume that the cargo my, is similar to the type 6 still so you can uh, you can still put a lot of cargo in there. You know, it's it it's it. If you were to buy a Type Six, I'm sorry, I didn't know that right off the bat. But the cargo capacity is 38 tons, and the cargo capacity of the Type Six is 50. So it's a little bit. It's not the same, but you can still use it as a cargo ship. If, I mean, if you were to use this as a upgraded version of the Type Six for, you know, defending yourself and combat and stuff like that, while also doing the transporting. I mean, it's a good, it's a good ship for that, right? But it's not a good ship in general and I think personally it's a warship because plus all those facts it also looks terrible I think it's ugly right I I think the type 6 looks ugly too you know given that fact but also it's it's just 
it's not a um, it's not a ship with a wow factor I would say um, <laughs> but other than those facts um, everyone should just do whatever they want Elite Dangerous you know I don't judge but I personally don't think this ship is a good ship at all and I just wonder what you guys think do you guys, say, do you guys think this is a good ship and if you do um, tell me why don't dislike this video because I have an opinion right tell me why you think it's a good ship tell me why you think I'm wrong and with all those things I'm right now going to, to, to sell my ship and get my own ship back um, and uh, yeah t tell me tell me what your worst ship is and tell me what your best ship is and I'm extremely excited to find out and again Merry Christmas Happy New Year and I'll see you guys in the next year maybe possibly or in in a week right I'll see you guys then. Cheers.